In this video, we're going to begin to identify a process that can be used to find the value that x equals in an equation. On this equation, we have x plus 7. We could think about that as having some unknown piece here. We'll call that x and seven positive pieces. Let's represent positives with these green circles. Four, five, six, seven. And that is equal to negative five, and let's represent negatives with these orange circles on it. So x with seven positive circles is the same as five negative circles. Now, in order to get rid of these positive circles, they need to be paired with a negative circle. In other words, if I put a negative circle over here, the positive and negative together will subtract out to zero. So to get rid of all of these positive circles, we need to add a total of seven of these negatives. And as we do, we notice those all will subtract out to zero. However, we need to think about the equal sign as a balancer, which means if we put seven negative circles on the left side, we need to do the same thing on the right side by introducing seven negative circles on the other side as well. When we do that, we see this unknown x strip is balancing with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve negatives. This means x, this x strip, must be equal to negative 12. Representing that algebraically, what we've done is on the left side, we had seven positive pieces. To get rid of those seven positive pieces on the left side of this equation, we needed to introduce seven negatives. To keep balance, we have to also introduce seven negatives on the right side of the equation. Notice when we do this, the seven positives and the seven negatives will subtract out, leaving just the x. The x is alone, which is what we want, and on the other side, we've got five negatives and seven negatives, giving us a total of twelve negatives. The value x represents in this equation is negative twelve. If we were to place the x with negative twelve, we would have negative twelve plus seven, is negative five. Normally, we won't go through the work of showing the picture, but instead, just represent these problems algebraically. In this next example, four plus x equals eight, we want the x alone, so we have to get rid of the positive four with four negatives on both sides. When we do, the four subtract out, and we get x equals eight minus four, or four. Similarly, with seven equals x plus nine, we want to get the x alone on its side, this time on the right side, so we'll introduce nine negatives to both sides. When we do that, the nine negatives and nine positives subtract out, and we're left with x all alone on the right side, and seven minus nine, or negative two, on the left side. In this problem, x is representing negative two. In the last problem again, we always balance on the equals, and we want the x alone, so to get rid of the eight positives, we need eight negatives on both sides. Eight minus eight subtracts out, leaving the x alone, which is what we want, and five minus eight is negative three. We could verify these three answers by plugging the number we got in for x in the equation. Four plus x, or four plus four equals eight, like we want. X, or negative two plus nine, is seven, like we want. Eight plus x, or eight plus negative three, is five, like we want. To get rid of a positive number hanging out with x, we simply introduce the same number of negatives to both sides, maintaining balance, to find the value that x is representing in the problem.